Well, let's tell uh, Ayaka the great news, I presume. Anyways, welcome back to another episode. We're fully past 100 now. Good luck for us. I see. So Kujo Sara stayed her hand. It would appear she still has some honor to her. I wonder if we should try establishing contact with her. Perhaps we could coax out some information. Unlikely. Don't forget, Kujo Sara is also carrying out the Vision Hunt decree. She obeys the orders of the Raiden Shogun without question. In her eyes, Master Masakatsu is of no threat to the decree. This is why she was so willing to allow his escape. If our true motives were ever divulged, she would act against us without a second thought. True. Though if you ask me, Master Masakatsu's release is an unexpected blessing. We are now one step closer to victory. And we couldn't have done it without Yoimiya and the Traveler. <laughs> You're turning out to be even more reliable than we expected. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> Don't mention it! Indeed. Things may have turned out very differently this time without the help of the Traveler. But if we wish to mount any sizable resistance against the Vision Hunt Decree, there is still much to be done. It is time we make ready our next set of plans. There's no need to rush, my lady. Things seem to have taken a turn for the better, at least. Not only have we rescued Master Masakatsu, but our list of allies appears to be growing. Uh, yes, which reminds me. The Tenryo Commission seems to be making preparations for a celebration. They call it a ceremony of sorts. And the number of samurai out enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree seems to be waning. The days ahead may be more peaceful than usual. A ceremony, you say? Why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? I don't know, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with us. Anyway, with the Tenryo Commission busy with preparations, we should have a little more breathing room than usual. Hmm, you do present a good point. Being in a constant state of alert will only tire us further. Perhaps a period of rest is in order. Toma, what would you suggest? I'd say a celebratory feast is in order. Might I suggest an evening of hot pot together? <laughs> Funny enough, I learned a new hot pot game recently. I'm sure you'll find it quite amusing. A hot pot game? What's that? Well, as long as it has to do with eating. Simply put, every person prepares an ingredient to add to the hot pot. Once the meal begins, we add all the ingredients together. Then we take it in turns to close our eyes, pick an ingredient out of the pot, taste it, and guess whose ingredient it was. Anyone who guesses correctly can go again, and whoever finishes the meal with the most points is declared the winner. Tradition even has it that the winner receives blessings from the god of hot pot. Don't you think it sounds like fun? <laughs> I've been wanting to give it a try. In fact, I've already got my ingredients prepared. You really do want to play, huh? Well, sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Time to gather some ingredients. But what should we choose? Let's stick to the classics. Let's see what we've got here. Mmm, fresh fish fillets, shrimp, bamboo shoots. Nice! You can't go wrong with these. Paimon can't wait. Paimon never thought we'd be the only ones to actually put anything edible into the pot. Don't go wasting the rest now. Ah. <sighs> This was possibly the scariest looking hot pot Paimon's ever seen. Fortunately, Toma ended up eating all the weird stuff. Uh, you can say that again. But hey, at least I got the most points. <laughs> oh, wait a moment. That doesn't feel good. I'm afraid it's your own fault for adding all those strange ingredients, Toma. The soup flavor wasn't quite the same afterwards. Even
Even with a traveler's normal ingredients, I still couldn't guess any of them correctly. But weren't you the one who added those little cakes, Ayaka? <laughs> I think the traveler ended up eating one. Boiling cakes in hot pot? Ugh. Think of the texture. I must apologize. To be perfectly honest, I thought the cakes would be a tasty addition. Do you mean fish cakes or actual cakes? Uh-oh. I'm definitely not okay. Uh, I need to lie down. <sighs> I feel like a new man. You know, Toma, all you had to do was guess wrong on purpose and it would have been someone else's turn. Talk about being competitive. <laughs> uh, guess I've been feeling unlucky recently and wanted the God of Hot Pot's blessing. Perhaps I did get a little carried away. Still, I couldn't be beaten at my own game first time around. I think my luck has already taken a turn for the better. I can sense it. So without further ado, I hereby declare that the winner of today's Hot Pot Challenge is... me. Oh, brother. Ah, oh, good effort, team. Another important job taken care of. Next on the agenda, some well-earned rest and relaxation. Yes. If the Tenryo Commission truly is as busy with preparations as Toma claims, then some rest would be a welcome change of pace. And with the extra time, there are some other matters I wish to attend to. Let's all take some much-needed time off. After a few days' rest, we'll reconvene at the Komori Tea House and discuss our next operation. Downtime is hard to come by these days, so be sure to make the most of it. I'll tidy things up here and start thinking about our ingredients for our next round. <laughs> There's gonna be a sequel? Sure, why not? We should play again now that everyone knows the rules. I'll see you all later. Bye, Toma! Hmm. Seems we won't need to be visiting the Komori Tea House for a while. Why don't we go explore some other places? Some other places, eh? Interesting. Hmm. Where do we go from here? What's the plan? Traveler, Paimon, hold on. Huh? Ayaka? What's the matter? Something has come up, and I would like to request your assistance. But you ought not be nervous. This is not coming from the Yashiro Commission or the Kamisato clan. It is my own individual request. Individual request? You mean personal stuff? Correct. It concerns my mother. This may seem a little sudden, but in my view, you are the only person I can entrust this to. Can you give me a more details? A few days ago, I was sorting through some old family belongings when I found a notebook that belonged to my mother. She wrote about all kinds of things, mostly of little consequence. But what drew my attention was a name. It is one that I have never heard before, so the fact that she mentions it so frequently, it makes it difficult for me to ignore. Probably your mom's best buddy, right? You really never heard of the name before? Not once? Never. And although my mother and father passed away many years ago, both my brother and I are familiar with the vast majority of their acquaintances. So... I am very curious about this mysterious individual. I would very much like to meet them. According to the notebook, their name is Tsubaki. This seems to have been someone very important to my mother. Someone with a lot of personality, who liked to have fun. Paimon thinks it sounds like a girl's name. That's what I thought, too. So what do you want us to do? Do you need us to find her for you? No, no. Her address is given in the notebook. We can head straight there. I wanted you to assist me with the preparation of greeting gifts. Please keep everything I have told you in strict confidence. The proper course of action would be to involve my brother and visit her together, 
but he is terribly busy at present, and on a more selfish note, I don't wish to involve anybody else from Inazuma in this matter. Hence why you came to me, an outlander. Exactly. That, and you are also a kind, well-mannered person with a genuine concern for other people. Not to mention trustworthy. I would not feel comfortable with anyone else in this situation. You can count on us! We've done greeting gifts before, so we should be able to help. In terms of payment, just treat us to some delicious food and we'll be more than happy. Wonderful! In fact, I was hoping to take this opportunity to show you both around, if you don't mind, of course. Oh, we don't mind. We don't mind at all. Do we? Not in the slightest. Thank you kindly. Shall we head off then? Ogura Textiles and Kimonos is our first stop. Alright, sounds great! Um. Ah, oh, this problem again. Don't worry guys, I'll be right back. <sighs> Actually guys, well, you can't see this. But anyways, Yeah. This is what happens when your internet is off. Anyways, what's the matter? Something has come up, and I would like to request your assistance. But you ought not be nervous. This is not coming from the Yashiro Commission or the Kamisato clan. It is my own individual request. Individual request? You mean personal stuff? Correct. It concerns my mother. This may seem a little sudden, but in my view, you are the only person I can entrust this to. Can you give me any more details? A few days ago, I was sorting through some old family belongings when I found a notebook that belonged to my mother. She wrote about all kinds of things, mostly of little consequence. But what drew my attention was a name. It is one that I have never heard before, so the fact that she mentions it so frequently, it makes it difficult for me to ignore. Probably your mom's best buddy, right? Really never heard of you before? Not once? Never. And although my mother and father passed away many years ago, both my brother and I are familiar with the vast majority of their acquaintances. So I am very curious about this mysterious individual. I would very much like to meet them. According to the notebook, their name is Tsubaki. This seems to have been someone very important to my mother. Someone with a lot of personality, who liked to have fun. Paimon thinks it sounds like a girl's name. That's what I thought, too. So what do you want us to do? Do you need us to find her for you? No, no. Her address is given in the notebook. We can head straight there. I wanted you to assist me with the preparation of greeting gifts. Please keep everything I have told you in strict confidence. The proper course of action would be to involve my brother and visit her together, but he is terribly busy at present, and on a more selfish note, I don't wish to involve anybody else from Inazuma in this matter. Hence why you came to me, an outlander. Exactly. That, and you are also a kind, well-mannered person with a genuine concern for other people, not to mention trustworthy. I would not feel comfortable with anyone else in this situation. You can count on us! We've done greeting gifts before, so we should be able to help. In terms of payment, just treat
treat us to some delicious food, and we'll be more than happy. Wonderful. In fact, I was hoping to take this opportunity to show you both around, if you don't mind, of course. Oh, we don't mind. We don't mind at all. Do we? Not in the slightest. Thank you kindly. Shall we head off then? Ogura Textiles and Kimonos is our first stop. Alright, sounds great! Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a comment and also leave a like. We'll meet you all in my next episode. See you guys. Just taking a stretch. Alright. See you guys.